What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a deck that counters a lot of this new meta. Um, I'd say it probably counters 60 to 70%. And it's a deck I created myself and I found a lot of success with it up here in Ultimate Champion. So in the first game here, we're facing a dirty E Golem player. Um, I knew it was E Golem because of his banner. So that's one thing I would tell you guys, do not give away what deck you run in your banner. It's almost never gonna work out for you. And that's exactly why I went E Giant first play. So we're able to get, pull off a pretty good defense here. Yes, he ends up taking about half of our King Tower um, and over half of our Crown Tower but we're able to take his whole tower here. Um, he's really low on Elixir, we're full. So I decided to go E-Giant at the bridge again. I knew I was up quite a bit of Elixir. So there we go, taking his first tower. And we're even on Elixir and I've got an Electro Giant going down to his crown tower right now. He plays his E-Drag, so we're just gonna go ahead and lightning that out. I wanted to wait and see if he'd play something else, he didn't. Um, but still, we're even on Elixir, and I'm gonna get the majority of his second tower here. So again, do not put what deck you run in your banner. Um, that's why I think I was able to win this game. I don't think it's a good matchup, to be honest with you. Um, unless you're able to stack up Phoenix's defense, it's gonna be really hard, especially if they lightning block. Um, but yeah, at this point, we've pretty much wrapped this game up already, just because we knew what deck he was running. Um, so I'll talk about the deck a little bit here. It's pretty much a Royal Giant deck. Um, so I have Fisherman in it. I've got the Phoenix. I've got the E-Spirit, Log. I do have Tornado, so that's one difference. Um, I kept Tornado in it because you kind of need Tornado when you're running E-Giant. And I have the Fisherman over a building. So the reason for that is I was running the typical E-Giant deck, the one with Golden Knight, Barbaro, Phoenix, and I was facing a lot of P.E.K.K.A. And if you're running E-Giant, you know there's really no way to counter P.E.K.K.A. unless you have a Fisherman in your deck. So that's kind of how this deck kind of came to be. Um, and I ran it for a little while. It worked out really well. I had Skeletons in the deck initially, but unfortunately they're just not the best card for defense. Um, I was struggling a little bit, so I decided to put goblins in, and that really changed changed the deck for me, to be honest with you. Um, so you can see there, we three crown this dirty e golem player, and you're gonna face a lot of e golem in this meta just because of how good battle healer is now. So yeah, I was pretty pumped about that. In the next match here, we are facing a goblin giant Sparky deck. He's also got many Pekka in the deck. So on paper, really, this is a horrible matchup. Um, he's got a lot to counter me. But again, I mean, the Fisherman just comes into play really well here. And I would say try to keep the Electro Giant as a surprise factor sometimes. Depending on what deck they're running, um, it can really help you out. Um, if you play your Fisherman before your, your Electro Giant, they're definitely gonna think you're running RG. Um, which could potentially get them in trouble sometimes, depending on what they play. So as far as bad matchups go, I want to go ahead and let you guys know the uh, Royal Hogs and uh, the Royal Hogs Archer Queen and Royal Delivery deck is probably a hundred of matchup for them. Um, really, any deck with Royal Hogs is going to be very difficult. You don't have any splash damage. Uh, they can just outcycle you so much, it's almost impossible to outcycle their cannon. So I have yet to beat that matchup. I'll keep trying, but um, I've only faced it a few times while running this deck, and I've lost every time. So as long as you don't face that too much, it'll be pretty good. Uh, and then also Goblin Drill. I faced a couple Goblin Drill decks with Inferno Tower as well. And I would say that's another probably 100 of a matchup. It's nearly impossible. You don't have a good way to kill the, um, the Goblin Drill itself, and they've got two buildings. So it just makes it very difficult. Um, but yeah, back to this matchup. We're, we're playing fairly well. Fisherman's coming in handy. We're about to hit double Elixir. So I decide to NATO away that mini P.E.K.K.A. 
I know he's not gonna expect it and we'll get a sneaky little like 2,000 damage just because Electro Giant is broken. Um, so yeah, now we're up ahead in damage again and we're in a good spot. So at this point, after we got all that damage, uh, he's gonna spam us. He's probably a little worried. Um, he's got a really good matchup. He's just not playing it super well, which is good for us. Um, so I think we go, yeah, we go E-Giant here and he's gonna go with a mini P.E.K.K.A. and we'll get a good lightning off here and we'll get a little more damage. So, I mean, based off these two first matchups, you guys can really see how to play this deck. Um, you gotta be sort of aggressive. You can outcycle decks that you typically would not be able to uh, with the normal E-Giant decks, which is good for us. Um, another really good matchup, I would say, is Lumberloon Freeze, which you'll see next. Um, that's almost a 100-0 matchup for us. So you guys will see how to play that against that deck. Um, and then there's a couple other matchups in here. Uh, but overall, really been enjoying this deck. I'm around 1,900 medals right now, so top 1,500 in the world. I'm going to keep trying to push up. Um, I'll keep putting out videos, probably with this deck, because I'm thinking I'm going to run it for the rest of the season. See if we can maybe get a top 1K finish. But yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, I'm going to let the rest of these games just play out. Allow you guys to watch them with no commentary on it. I hope you do enjoy um, if you do, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Clash Royale content. Peace.